Hi, my name is Mike, and I own uh, Mike's Carburetor Parts. Um, I have a website where you can find uh, parts for most any carburetor at www.mikescarburetor.com or uh, put in uh, using your search engine Mike's Carburetor Parts, and uh, you should be able to find me that way also. Um, <clears throat> this is the uh, oh, what is it? Third, fourth, fourth video, I think of. Uh, the Holly 4000, I've been uh, putting one together and uh, I'm making several videos on it because there's so many things to do to it. It's kind of a little bit complicated. So um, today I'm going to uh, put together the uh, secondary diaphragm. <clears throat> so I got all my parts ready here and cleaned up. And uh, um, I mentioned in a previous video, you had two different size uh, check balls and uh, in the secondary we're going to use the bigger one uh, you have a lot of little a couple of little ones and a bigger one this this one we're going to use a bigger one and the check ball goes right in there and uh, <clears throat> there's this little uh, clip that goes in this little piece of wire that's really easy to lose they just fly out everywhere and, and uh, I don't think I, you can even buy the thing so <clears throat> you can always make one uh, you got to get that in there to hold that check ball in. Get turned the right way here. Push down. Okay, so there it is in there. Check ball can move around freely. All right. And uh, okay, so then I put the diaphragm in and just line up the, the extra hole here where the check ball goes, like so. Um, and you have a spring that goes on it. Let's see, the springs usually come off with the cover. Okay. Like that. And you simply stick your four screws in here. Uh, I got to find some new ones, which I didn't do, and put some new ones on, so I won't put that on for now. But we'll go ahead and mount it on the carburetor. <clears throat> and it goes right here. And uh, there's a gasket that goes on here. Uh, you get turned the right way so it doesn't cover the holes. A little silicon spray lubricant on it. And uh, that's it for the gasket, and then this just uh, slides over like this. And we have these uh, three screws that have kind of a flat head on them. And those are the ones that go in here. It'd be easier to put the screw in first, at least one of them. Okay, I got one partially started. All right, so I've got the three screws in there now. Um, a little lever here. Oops. 
try and keep this up so you can see it. Get a little something under there to hold it, maybe. Okay, camera on it. All right, sets down right like this. And it uses the uh, screw that has kind of a flat head, real short one. Um, all right. No, it's at once. Okay. Yeah, I like that, and it's got this little uh, castellated washer on it. I think that's what you call them. why it didn't, didn't look right. There we go. Okay, see? Alright. Let's put this in here now. Alright. Okay. Right, we'll find a clip. Yep, which I've lost already. <laughs> okay. All right, clip is on it, finally. And uh, let's see, and we got the little cover that goes on there. Like so. Another little screw. Okay, there we go. And we'll turn over here and I'll go ahead and put the cover on it now. Got some new screws for it. Don't forget your, your spring goes like that. Okay. Try to have screw kits for uh, most carburetors, and uh, I don't know if I have one put together for this uh, 4,000 yet or not. I'll check when I'm done with this video, and if I don't, I'll get one together. So I like to put new screws in these classics so just make them look better. Old ones get so beat up over the years. Okay, and we got the secondary diaphragm on. Alright, that's it for this video. I'm going to get ready and uh, 
We'll do the next one, uh, which uh, should finish up this carburetor. We've just got a few pieces left to put on it. And that'll be it, and we'll be ready to test it. Thank you.